Definitely. Yeah, we have, I think the biggest schools, or biggest event we've had is uh, 12 or 13 schools. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because of that, the added competition. Uh, were you surprised with how well your team performed overall? That's well, we try and we try and make competition, you know, throughout the fabric, and we compete on all kinds of different things, um, funny things that I probably don't want to share, but uh, you know, we compete all over the place, and so I, you know, I, I told them what it was going to be like. They knew what to expect, and was real pleased that they responded the way that they should have. Uh, the commute have any sort of factor today? I don't think. Well, I don't think we're we're less than two hours away from anything, so you know. Um, they're just used to it. It's really great to coach because she, you know, she's clearly very talented, and she also does a great job of listening and doing, you know, everything. Hey, this is going to make you better in the long run, not just now. And so um, we really worked hard at the beginning of her races, trying to do things technically perfect. And I feel like she really is technically perfect at the beginning of her races, as, as good as we can get. And so now it's a chance to work on the middle part, and and uh, we've done the same thing in the high jump. You know, started off with a real short approach, and then a medium approach, and then a longer approach, and just trying to be uh, being good before we add 
the, the next level of difficulty. So, and she's just been a, you know, a real student of it. Uh, found her um, looking at YouTube videos and trying to learn and be better, and and because uh, it's very, very, very new to her. Uh, had no experience in track before. Well, it's very new for your entire team. So, Kendra, aside, anyone else really starting to stand out and, uh, and make a name for themselves? Well, the thing that's been great is they all okay, have been so that way. And, you know, we, we try and not only competition, but doing, you know, competing to be the most technically sound. You know, we have one day a week where we try and be, uh, you know, it's Technique Tuesday. So everything's technically perfect. And it doesn't matter if you're um, the farthest jumper or the fastest runner. But we want you to be technically perfect on that day, and that's the competition. Is is how can you how can you be technically perfect? And uh, so the kids are working really hard at that. And it's nice because we don't have to actually uh, break bad habits starting from new. You know, we have yeah, they're learning to break, and so we've been trying to as soon as something bad develops, we take steps back and, and, and uh, not caring about the distance or the time, and that stuff's gonna gonna fall, and it's starting to. Every kid, I think, had a PR today, and so it's, it's going to keep getting there. And you know, it's probably a two-year project. It's not, you know, we won't be finished with, you know, uh, this whole introduction to track and field until next year at this time. So, well, at this point in the season, now that you've had a few meets under your belt, your senior kids progress. Is the team uh, where you thought they would be, or are they exceeding expectations? You know, I don't. I try not to have expectations other than that you compete hard and you do it perfect, and as and they've exceeded expectations there, um, and they have worked hard every day. They've communicated. Uh, it's hard to hard for a track team to be a team, um, and because everybody's so disjointed. But they've embraced the team part of it, and, and many of them have even commented, "This is more of a team than some of the other sports I've been in before." You know, little league baseball or whatever. You know, I've had more fun as a team in this sport, and so you know, it's a testament to the captains and how they've involved the best athletes as well as you know the, those that are are really not at the same level as Kendrick, for instance. So, but we've had uh, great. Uh, Russell Brown has, you know, had three days of practice for the for the pole vault, and you know he's already gone nine six, and so, um, you know, I'm excited where he can get to too. So, hey, I'm just happy we stayed dry. <laughs> Always a plus. Always a plus. Thank you very much. Enjoy the drive back.